I think what President meant by all of that is we have to quit meeting like this. Uh, there have been a lot of press conferences and a lot of announcements, but the neat thing about uh, New Orleans and about Tulane, uh, press conferences are, are more pep rally than they are press conference. So uh, I, I never get tired of pep rallies, and pep rallies are there to celebrate something. And boy, I, I feel like we're celebrating the real deal today with, with Mike's introduction. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago today, we started a search and there was one objective in the search. And that was to find somebody that had a, a defibrillator in their pocket. Basically, the guy that could come in and, and put that defibrillator down and shock what I think is a sleeping giant back into life. That's what we were looking for. I didn't know who. I knew characteristics. I, need, I needed somebody of high character. I needed somebody with charisma. I needed somebody that was a great evaluator of talent, somebody that, that, that was a great teacher, a teacher of, of life and a teacher of the game. And I needed somebody, and I've said this a lot, a lot, I needed somebody who was a winner. So I started the search. Two days into the search, I got an email from a, a, a friend of mine down front that played football here, Miles Clemens. And he said, hey, he said, Mike Dunlevy's interested in your job. And I said, I'm not interested. He's still playing for the Bulls. I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> and he responded back, says, no, no, the other Mike Dunlevy. And I said, you, you mean the guy that was an All-American in South Carolina as an athlete, the guy who, who played in the NBA, played with Dr. J, was NBA coach of the year, the guy that coached Magic, had Kareem, the guy who went to Wall Street and made a ton of money on Wall Street, the guy that was a general manager and kind of rebuilt an organization in the face of a of an owner who, man, I, I told him I won't be as hard to work with, but he rebuilt the Clippers organization as a general manager, a guy who is on air as a media personality, you mean that Mike Dunlevy, the guy who, all those things I was looking for, that he hit him to a tee. He's really interested in this job. Yeah, he is. So two days later, uh, I had a phone call with Mike. And I was almost like a kid in the candy store because I watched him growing up. I watched him on the bench, I watched him on the floor. Guy didn't know how to lose. That's what I want. Well, I already, I already know I like New Orleans. I already was willing to make a commitment here. I have family here. And I think it's, it, bottom line is, it, it's, it has a, it's a, a pro city, has all the pro everything as far as sports is concerned. It's got a great fan base. And uh, uh, between this Louisiana, Texas, Georgia, Florida, all this, you know, the surrounding states, there's a great talent base. So I looked at it like there's, there's no reason why you can't win in a big way here. And the two programs that I've been most associated with have been Duke and Villanova. Small private schools, you know, with small on-campus gyms, but have a have an opportunity to go play in way bigger venues as you get better. So, uh, you know, I may be naive, but uh, that's my goal. Uh, I'm looking at uh, like President Fitz and Troy said, you know, hey, we're looking at playing this kind of weekend some somewhere along the line, and and that's uh, and that's the goal. I can't tell you how long it's going to take to get there. It depends on. A few different factors, but uh, I'm I'm totally a believer. I think I think it can I think it can get done here, and I think I'm going to do it.